Have you ever seen a truck sing? And yes, this is deepfake. I don't know if you have noticed, but this is a type of deepfake called image animation that usually brings a 2D image alive by using a reference video to drive it like a puppet face. This truck video was done through forcefully putting face landmarks onto the truck and animating those landmarks with this very famous video. When this meme was at its peak back in February 2020, it was based on this research called FOM, short for First Order Motion Model for Image Animation. So, more than two years have gone by, what do those few more papers down the line look like now? Starting with TPSMM, short for Thin Plate Spline Motion Model for Image Animation, published in March of 2022 and is basically the direct descendant of FOM. They share very similar fundamental model structures where they use key point detectors to track the motion in the driving video and animate onto the input image. What is different however is that TPSMM also takes good care of impainting the background, which is a major problem in FOM. The use of a key point detector allows multiple domains such as faces, body, and even cartoon animals to be easily animatable with a driving video. However, things like faces that need very high 3D coherency would be very difficult to execute or easy to notice some faults since the driving video has a lot of drastic motions, and you can see the problem in the resulting animation. So, if we want it to be more domain specific, like a solution to animate just the faces with the driving video and has a higher coherence and accuracy, the again short for Depth Aware Generative Adversarial Network for Talking Head Video Generation provides a great way to approach this problem. The again was also published in March of 2022 and it proposed a few very interesting ideas to animate 2D faces with a video. First, it has a model that was trained to extract 3D facial geometry and obtain a depth map from the driving video. Then a key point detector is combined with a depth map to generate more accurate facial key points and with a cross model attention module to constrain the motion field in the end so the resulting faces don't go ham and are as realistic as possible. This approach is definitely much better than how TPSMM and its predecessor FOM performs, but is designed solely for animating faces and not anything else, which limits a bit on how you can use it. Directly comparing the results from TPSMM and Dagen, you can probably instantly tell that Dagen performs much better on faces than TPSMM. The facial depth map helped keeping the facial structure intact and just overall performs much better. I also played around with Dagen a lot more because its processing time is around 3 times faster than TPSMM and it's pretty good at dealing with 3D rendering or 2D illustrations. I can sense that this has a lot more meme potential even though the meme itself is quite dead already. However, this is not the end. Just a few weeks ago, Samsung AI dropped an absolute jaw-dropping piece of work. Let me just show you right away. This research called Mega Portraits One-Shot Megapixel Neural Head Avatars achieved pretty much state-of-the-art results, and with its built-in facial super resolution, which upscales from 512 to 1024, it can create this amazing quality image animation. Mega Portraits not only can completely turn a 2D front face sideways by synthesizing incredibly believable novel views such as the side Face, it can also coherently move the head positions without deforming. The method they used to be able to achieve this is abandoning the key point detecting method and instead uses a latent expression descriptor to extract the driving video and apply it to the 2D image. In return, it achieves realistic facial animation and manipulation. So here I directly use Mega Portraits compared to Dagen. You can see that there is a clear difference in the quality, and not only that, the completeness of the head rotation is drastically more coherent than the GAN. But there are also a few things that Mega Portraits fails at, like it does not preserve the original textures well when you apply it onto paintings. You can tell that some of the synthesized mouth movements and jaw are more human-like than what was initially drawn. And on the other hand, Dagen did not suffer from this problem at all. Mega Portraits does a decent job separating the background and the head, though you can see that the hair flickers a lot and is not completely perfect. Overall, Mega Portraits is definitely still way ahead of its competition compared to the other two.
It's just that you need to keep in mind what I've shown here are only from the demo they provided. Mega Portraits did not release their code, so I am unable to confirm if the quality is real or not. But for the other two, most of the demos I've shown are mine, and you can also quickly test them out too on Hugging Face for free, which is pretty amazing. So definitely take this chance to make the manliest man do the silliest thing. It is always funny to show your alpha male coworker or that one chat friend where they're doing the B to the B head bot from TikTok to blackmail their masculinity. But please don't use this to do the naughty things and you know what I'm saying. Or I'll tell your mom that you are a bad kid. And if you want to learn more about AI in general, today's sponsor Brilliant is literally the perfect place for you to start. Learning a new field of knowledge can be incredibly difficult. Well, first of all, navigating and understanding what is there to learn is already a very hard task. Questions like what is beginner friendly, what subjects needs a foundation on what topic. Second, learning based on reading books, watching lectures, or YouTube videos can pose quite a huge mental strain and definitely not an efficient way to learn new things. So this is where Brilliant comes in. Their platform provides an interactive way for you to have hands-on lessons in the complex topics such as math, science, and computer science. Study has shown that interactive learning helps you learn six times more efficiently than watching videos and reading through textbooks. Since it is interactive, you are able to learn more actively instead of accidentally falling asleep during a two hours lecture that you found on YouTube. Brilliant provides a very wide range of subjects and topics where you can easily dive in or follow a path to master a STEM field that you are interested in or obligated to pass in. From basic algebra to advanced multivariable calculus, from programming with Python to artificial neural networks, Brilliant can basically be your personal tutor throughout your whole high school at this point. Back in my high school days, I actually used Brilliant to study maths because it was so much nicer than staring at badly designed textbooks where they would go in a loop explaining what is complex numbers with complex numbers. So if you are looking for an intuitive way of learning, Brilliant is definitely the place for you. Join now with millions of people learning on Brilliant with a special offer I got for all of you. Check out the link down below in the description where you can get started for free with Brilliant's interactive lessons. The first 200 of y'all will also get 20% off an annual membership pretty neat right yeah that's it for this video big shout out to andrew laschelius chris ledoux dan kennedy and many others that support me through patreon or youtube if you like my videos you already know what to do and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one